An old man walks into a bank, walks up to the teller and says, I'd like to check my balance. Teller pushes him. <laughs> hey, welcome back to our Stupid Reactions Idiots. I'm Corbin, and this is a moron. Yep, I'm the stupiditist. Thank you for following us on Instagram and Twitter! And thank you for ringing the bell to be part of the notification squad! I love that that smells like grapefruit. Um, so today we're going to be um, reacting to a speech. Uh, it's from this film, if you want to say it. I want you to say it. Payar Kar Punch Mama. That's what I was hoping for. <laughs> I was looking for the Punch Mama. Thank you, Corbin Miles. Nama, sorry. Oh, no, you did it. That's literally why I turned to you and wanted you to say it. Punch Nama. I knew you'd do Punch Mama. Uh, oh. But we haven't reacted to the trailer, but this scene has been highly requested. Uh, it's called Rod Jot's Speech. Yes, but it's from Payar Punch Your Mama. <laughs> Love it. Don't punch your mama. Ah. That's rude. Uh, but okay, okay, so it's a scene. No, I, think, I, I think, focus now. I think it's a funny scene. Okay. Um, so we'll see. All right. Uh, hopefully it's good. Uh, in, uh, thank you to everybody supporting us on Patreon. You might be the only ones to see this. Sometimes scenes get completely blocked. It's true. Um, so do we need any context for this? Do we know anything about what this is as far as? No idea. All right, great. Here we go. Cool. You did an air that guys on that? क्या बोली ये इतनी तो बात नहीं कर रहा है नॉलेज क्या प्रॉब्लम क्या प्रॉब्लम प्रॉब्लम ये है कि वो लड़की है और क्या प्रॉब्लम है प्रॉब्लम ये है कि मैं चाहता हूँ मेरी लाइफ में कोई प्रॉब्लम ही ना हो लेकिन अगर मेरी लाइफ में कोई प्रॉब्लम ना हो तो उसकी लाइफ की सबसे बड़ी प्रॉब्लम है एंड ये <laughs> 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 दो हफ्ते दिमाग चाटेंगे टेबल लेना है टेबल लेना है पांच घंटे मॉल में बिता के एक सड़ी सी चप्पल उठा के लाएंगे और फिर अगले दो हफ्ते दिमाग चाटेंगे टेबल लेना है टेबल लेना है ऑफिस में काम कर रहा हूँ फोन आ जाएगा फोन उठाते ही बोल देता हूँ बात नहीं कर सकता कितना मुश्किल है बात समझना दो मिनट कर लोगी तो क्या हो जाएगा अरे दो मिनट कर लूंगा तो तुझे क्या मिल जाएगा मेरी माँ ठीक से तो कर पाऊंगा नहीं और इसके बाद आई लव यू बोले बिना फोन काटा दो नाटक सबसे ज्यादा दिमाग की रही इस मोबाइल फोन ने कितने घटे व्यंजन है साली कौन से ऐसे पट्टा है सारा पट्टा उनके ऐड भी देखो लो जी एक पैसे पर सेकंड और फोन करो और फोन करो अरे कॉल सस्ती हो जाने से बात थोड़ी ना बढ़ जाती करने को फिर इसका जवाब उन्हें भी दो कि तुम्हारे पास बात क्यों नहीं करने को यू लॉस्ट इंटरेस्ट इन मी तुम्हें हू हू ही करना था तो मैंने तुम्हें फोन क्यों किया अरे मेरी माँ मुझे क्या पता तूने मुझे फोन क्यों किया जाके भारतीय में तुझसे पूछता तुझे मैं बता रहा हूँ उस एड में ना वो कुत्ता नहीं कुत्तिया है किसी किसी इशारा लगा सकता हो मेरे भाई को भी फॉलो तुझे क्या लगता है उसको पता नहीं था कि वो इंडिया नहीं जा रहा है नहीं उसको पता था वो बेचारा तो कहीं दूर जाना चाहता था बीवी के चक्कर में बोलना पड़ा इंडिया जा रहा हूँ नहीं तो दस सवाल पूछती कहाँ जा रहे हो क्यों जा रहे हो अच्छा तुम्हें पता भी नहीं कहा जा रहे हो सीधे सीधे क्यों नहीं बोलते मुझसे कहीं दूर जाना चाहते हो आज तक बेचारे को मजाक उड़ाती है दुनिया ऑफिस में काम कर रहा हूँ एस एम एस आ जाएगा आई लव यू ठीक है मैं भी एस एम एस कर देता हूँ आई लव यू टू 
इसके बाद एसएमएस पे एसएमएस शुरू अब एक काम क्या करती है ऑफिस में दो एसएमएस का रिप्लाई मत करना तुरंत फोन आएगा फोन मत उठा तो 10 मिनट में मैसेज आ चुका होगा आई डोंट थिंक इट्स वर्किंग एनीमोर 10 मिनट में बाबू आई लव यू से आई डोंट थिंक इट्स वर्किंग एनीमोर एंड दिस इज व्हेन दे आर नॉट इवन डाउन अब पता चला ये आदमी को इतने हार्ट अटैक क्यों आते और ये कि ये बंदे इतने सक्सेसफुल क्यों होते बिकॉज़ दे डोंट हैव अ वुमन टू स्क्रू देयर हैप्पीनेस या लुक एट दैट कि बिहाइंड एवरी सक्सेसफुल मैन देयर इज अ वुमन ट्रू बट कोई ये नहीं बताता कि बिहाइंड एवरी अनसक्सेसफुल मैन आल्सो देयर इज अ वुमन और ये तो कोई बता सकता है ना कि अनसक्सेसफुल लोगों की तादाद सक्सेसफुल लोगों से कई गुना ज्यादा है इस दुनिया में चलो ऑफिस में काम कर रहा हूं कह रहा हूं लेट हो जाऊंगा तो खाना नहीं खाएगी फिर भूखी हो जाएगी अरे मैं कह रहा हूं खा लो तो दिक्कत क्या करूं नौकरी छोड़ दूं फिर साले घर जाओ पहले इन्हें मनाओ इन्हें खिलाओ इनके बाद खुद की भूख तो वैसी मर जाती है इस सब के बाद भी अगर इंसान किसी तरह कोने में जाके शांति से बैठा हुआ है ना चुपचाप तो क्या घड़ी घड़ी क्या सोच रहे हो क्या सोच रहे हो क्या सोच रहे हो अरे कुछ नहीं सोच रहा मेरी माँ ये सोच रहा हूं तेरा मुंह कैसे बंद करूं सोच रहा कैमरा लगा दू दिमाग में इस सब के बाद मैं तुझे बता रहा हूं यू कैन नॉट डिस्कस एनीथिंग विद अ वुमन बिकॉज़ दे कॉल इट अ डिस्कशन बट एनी डिस्कशन विद अ वुमन इज एन आर्ग्युमेंट और आर्ग्युमेंट में तो तू बॉस उनसे जीत ही नहीं सकता बिकॉज़ हम आदमी हो कि एक बेसिक नीड होती है टू मेक सेंस इन एन आर्ग्युमेंट लड़कियों को कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ता सेंस इसी बिकासी चीज की वजह से वो आर्ग्युमेंट कैसे आ जाए एक तो आज की बात पे आर्ग्युमेंट आज हो गए नहीं आज की बात पे झगड़ा होगा 2 महीने बाद या सला याद भी नहीं होता है 2 महीने पहले हुआ क्या था लड़कियां बचा के रखती है ये छोटा हथियार नहीं बड़ा हथियार है इसे बड़ी लड़ाई में यूज करेंगे तू कभी ट्राई कर लियो खुद को सही साबित करने की तुझे लग ही रहा होगा कि इस पॉइंट से तू अपनी बात को साबित कर लेगा लेकिन तभी एक आवाज आएगी अंगली नीचे कर तूने ध्यान भी नहीं दिया होगा लेकिन तेरी एक नादान सी उंगली उनकी तरफ पॉइंट कर रही होगी इन सडनली द होल आर्गुमेंट विल फ्लैश ऑन द गटर और मुद्दा ये रह जाएगा हाउ डेयर यू पॉइंट अ फिंगर एट मी किसने बनाया रूट किसने सला वो वो बीच आर्गुमेंट में तुम्हें जूता फेंक के मार दे तो कोई दिक्कत नहीं लेकिन तुम उनकी तरफ एक उंगली पॉइंट कर दो सारा मुद्दा खत्म वो सही तुम गलत शादी के पहले शादी के पहले वो क्यों बचता है क्यों बचता है अभी प्रॉब्लम गिराऊ तो कहेगी अच्छा तुमने मेरी फ्रेंड को कॉल किया उंगली वाला मेरे साथ भी वाय That guy's got mental problems, man. <laughs> All right. He also talks incredibly fast. He does. So let's let's put on let's let's pull up our our acting coaching chair for a minute. Uh, first of all, let's talk about the writing because everything starts with the writing. Uh, mm-hmm. I love the ending. Mm-hmm. I love that last line. I thought that was great. But what do you think about the writing of the scene of the monologue? It's And I'm sure we lost some things in translation. Yeah, obviously they'll be able to understand more. Like if it was in English, I'd be able to understand everything. Of course. And so and I don't really any of the double meanings or anything like that. Want to kind of judge it on that. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it was good. Uh, it was just it was uh, it was hard to read everything as fast as he was saying it. Mm-hmm. Um, and then maybe <laughs> it could have been split up into like a three minute thing. As right. opposed to a, a five minutes. Speech. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I from I um as I was watching him, and this is again, this is just my personal opinion. I'm not saying this is the right way to do it. This is what I would have preferred. Mm-hmm. And granted, I would think that that's the right way to do it. At, at least when it comes to acting, the right way to do it is I need to believe you all the time. Mm-hmm. Period. Um, acting is Meisner described acting in a certain way, and I have a, a, an elaboration on that. uh in terms of he said it's living truthfully under imaginary circumstances which is true that is what acting is living truthfully under imaginary circumstances but for me you have to add to the end of that and be believable mm-hmm. because if we're acting and we know we're living truthfully under the circumstances and we are 100% honest with what we're doing but they don't believe it we failed mm-hmm. and you don't want to just be believable and not be truthful you need to have that combination If I was coaching this guy, I would want him to do the scene again. Like if he had just gotten up in a class and did the monologue. Mm-hmm. I would say, "Do it again, but this time I want you to slow down and I want you to not know what you're going to say next because I felt he knew he exactly what he was going to say." Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, he wasn't I didn't see him thinking mm-hmm. and having realizations. I saw a guy who had memorized his lines really, really well and had put some emotion in it, but the emotion was pretty singular. I don't know what he wanted. Mhm. And I didn't believe that it was happening right at that moment. Mhm. And that's what I would 
prefer to see. Yeah. I think it's a great monologue. Yeah. But if it had been done in a way that and, uh, I don't know, and I don't know how the director directed it. He may have been frustrated, and the director said, "Just get through it like that." Yeah. You know. And so, obviously, I don't know the the pretext of exactly. what his his uh, girlfriend or wife or whatever it is. Uh, right. What she did or blah 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 blah. Obviously, this was a very uh, broad statement about all women. It was very funny. <laughs> and so and the cliches. Obviously, it's supposed to be a humorous. Obviously, not all women. Yeah. <laughs> are and, that way. I don't think he should be in the relationship with this girl. Honestly. Right. <laughs> this exactly. How he feels about her. And and, uh, and I think a lot of people. I think a lot of people who who wouldn't be thinking about this in terms of higher level acting critiquing would enjoy that scene and laugh at it just for it being a funny scene. Mm -hmm. But for, for me, watching a scene, I would want that actor to take it next level. Mm -hmm. uh, so I didn't dislike it, but man, I think if that was put into the hands of somebody who was in the moment, had more time maybe, whatever the direction was, I don't know. I think that had the potential to, to, to be a home run versus I think he hit a very sound double Yeah, using baseball analogies. Yeah. Um, and I, I think... Like I said, somebody as a lot of people have requested this. Some people have said it's it's sexist, and I get it. I understand why you'd say that. Um, I think it, but uh, I kind of went at it from this is obviously not actually true. This is just something funny that they wanted to put in that mm -hmm. this guy feels. Yeah. Um, <laughs> obviously, it's not true. <laughs> no. it, it was, it, for me, the reason I didn't take offense to it yeah. is because it was so over the top. Yeah. I didn't feel like this was a genuine portrayal of some guy with a bone to pick with a woman. Yeah. This was, I'm about to give you the personification of every stereotype a man can have for a woman. Mm -hmm. So it was like, okay, be silly and do yeah, yeah. I'm not taking any of this to heart. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah no, that's how, that's how I felt about yeah. it too. I just, I know some people had said that to me in the comments uh, when people had suggested it. But and there may be stuff in translation that was like really offensive that we wouldn't have yeah. picked up Who on. Knows? Who knows? But uh, yeah, they let us know what other scenes we should react to. Should we act to this? The, the trailer for this film? Yes. Is it? And every, it's seen, somebody asked me that today. The Instagram message me and said, would you guys react to some scenes? So I'm, I'm glad we're doing this. Yes, we love We love scenes. scenes. It is difficult. Like, uh, Bahubali uh, war scene got blocked. Um, and it apparently might have just got unblocked. So would you might see that. Um, obviously, we've already seen the film, though. Yeah, but well, that was our first exposure to yeah. Bahubali. was that fight scene. Uh, but please let us know other scenes. Yeah, legendary scenes. To, um, acting scenes. Yeah, funny scenes. Yeah. All that kind of stuff. Because uh, we love to react to that kind of stuff as well. As long as there's scenes that don't spoil the film. Yes. 